So it's coming up to the end of November here in the UK and here are the Saracenas in the greenhouse. As you can see, most of them are dying back and are shutting down for the winter. Um, there are a couple that are still going, so there's a, there's a Moria here. And there's also my uh, green Lucifella, which is doing pretty nicely still. There's a couple of nice traps on there, but virtually all the other ones are now shut down for the winter. And, you know, they're starting to die back. The temperate sundews like Bernata here are also doing the same thing. They look completely dead now, but they will have just gone back to their uh, tight sort of winter resting bud. And similarly, a lot of the Venus fly traps now have also started to blacken off their summer traps. Uh, they might still keep a few winter traps, but they tend to be a bit smaller. And actually the ones at the front here, which are Akairu, have pretty much died all the way back. Uh, the Darlingtonia still looking nice. They're sort of coming to their own at this point, as are some of the Citicinas, they're still looking nice. Um, if we actually have a quick look outside, um, in the greenhouse these guys are quite sheltered and protected, but outside you can see basically how they've been hammered by the wind and the rain, and they're all sort of flopping over. Um, this is Rubra Gophensis, it's still looking really nice and she will keep her traps right the way through till spring. But the vast majority of the other ones, as you can see here, are just dying back, or just going crispy and everything, and also have just been flattened by the wind and the rain. But again, this is fine. They are perfectly hardy, these guys. We've had a few frosts. We've had a lot of rain, so a lot of the trays are absolutely full with water. So I'll periodically tip that out. But they don't mind this, and they'll come back in spring and look absolutely fantastic.